so I saw a uh, <coughs> I saw a demo of Valgrind, which is a uh, Linux tool for um, co code code analysis. Um, I gotta let my dog out. Hey, puppy. So Valgrind is a Linux tool for code analysis. Now um, you're you're going to see some stuff that um, we operate differently from what you might be used to. Uh, I don't know why malloc and free are confusing to people, but anyway, uh, sometimes we uh, we frequently. Uh, return mallocated items um that's just uh duh <laughs> i'm not sure what let's say you uh somebody's there there's a beginner who thinks that um uh So, uh, Okay, so I just uh So I just blotted a uh um so this function DC new returns something that was mallocated. Um I think it goes without saying that the person said that you always free what you malloc. Well, I think it's it's pretty self-evident how malloc and free work. I don't know what you want to say. Sometimes you pass it out of the function. This this function right here passes mal a mallocated chunk out of the function. That can happen in all types of like. I haven't analyzed, but it's normal. It's not a. Now there's a. Uh, this will be a shock, I guess. Um, Okay, so get string returns a mallocated string. Uh, oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> That's what you, you need to free it. So the person sounded like they uh, thought there was a problem. The person sounded like they thought there was a problem with this get string. Uh, that's how we operate. I don't know what your problem is. It can be unlimited. Anyway, 
Um, so he saw some strings being passed around. You can pass this string to something else and free it later. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't think it's, you don't make rules, it's just obvious. If you allocate it, then you try to free it. And uh, um, somebody is going to accuse me of having a leak. Now there's, okay, if you go to memory, uh, there's a debug. There's not a debug. Okay. Heap rep. There's heap log. Where's heap log? Where is heap log? Oh, heap. Heap log rep. Where is heap log rep? Oh, that must not. Wow, I should list that. It's under debug. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how we fix that. Heap log, heap log rep, debugging heap. Now, is that my imagination or? Was that not listed in memory? Oh well. Debugging heap. So it's not listed. Maybe, oh, you'll find it. Oh shit. Okay, I'm going to uh, uh, so this is a for example. Okay, so we want to make uh, the help system debug heap. We want to be uh, memory debug. Debug heap we want to be also listed memory debug okay so let's do a find debug debugging heap oh it's under mask task Okay, let's see. Memory task. Heap walk. You think we should? Why don't we call it memory? Deep, okay, you know what I'm going to do? Screw it. Uh, memory. Debug memory debugging escape. Let's go here. Memory debugging. I'm just being brutal. Okay, now watch this. All I have to do is reboot. Pow, and then F1. Under memory, memory debugging. Okay. Okay. So heap log. Uh, you can study the code. It's actually pretty simple. Um, this is all the code for the heap log. Um, what it does is uh, it has a uh, a hook in malloc and a hook in free and what does it do it um, every time you mallocate something it uh, it makes a node we're, we're using our own little bit of memory and we're um, storing it into a queue and every time you free well it goes looking it goes looking for the right one and then it gets rid of that out of the queue it's not efficient but it 
this is it's slow obviously we if if this was that important we could use a hash table um, in fact do I use a hash table I do use a hash table then okay it's stored two ways it's is it stored as a hash and as a no it's not not hashing heap log room it looks like it's hashing I it is hashing right there oh it's in oh, okay it's a uh, okay so we set up a, uh, a hash table when we start up the heap log uh, there's two types, address and uh, heap log. There's two types of reports. And it sets up the hash table uh, right here, hash size. It makes up, it's a, it's a, what it is is it's an array of circular queues. And we initialize them all to zero. And then when we go looking, we, we know which one it would get put into. How big is our hash? Our hash size is plenty. So that means we break it up into 4096 little queues and search those. So uh, it's probably going to, uh, okay, let's just do it. Heap log. Oops directory. Now if I say heap log rep, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. What is it? Now we have it under memory. Heap log address rep. Heap log size rep. Okay. One of them, I know the difference. Anyway, heap log address uh-oh, we have a lot of allocated things. Now, what do you suppose this might be? This this would be alarming. They would say, oh, no, you're not freeing. But you know what this is? We started the heap log here, and we printed all this stuff onto the screen. Now, each one of these is an allocation. Each of these commands is an allocation. The carriage return is an allocation. Let's go look and see where it's... This is the caller stack. Um, we save about four callers. Um, now, where is this? Print parse dollar sign command. Okay. If it's parse dollar sign command, that's, that's for the... Uh, what we've printed on the window. Now somebody says, yeah, it shouldn't leak. No, well, what are you talking about? As we print, as a matter of fact, well, anyway, so parse dollar sign command, all those are, uh, all those are for the screen. Here's, here's something different. Lex file push. Uh, now it's possible, uh, our stellar career. <laughs> so that's pretty useless, isn't it? That's life. Let's see about um anyway. Uh so somebody's gonna complain about leaky strings. Uh, when you allocate code, who when it's R? This is this is allocated memory. Um, I leave stuff allocated all the time. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, if you think there's a problem with the command line allocating strings, I don't know what to tell you. 
if you think there's a problem with allocate when you do code sometimes it frees um, when actually if you do functions it does not free you have to kill the task to, to free it start a new task or if you run it in a pop-up then it um, if you run it in a pop-up then when it gets done all the memory that was associated gets freed that's why you don't run these at the command line well you can I shouldn't have said that there's nothing wrong with it it's just you can only do it a hundred times <laughs> okay that's a little joke so how many times would we have to uh, run this okay now we're gonna oh anyway if you keep running it it um, oh, let me show you I got that far okay now if you say who minus R we have all the driving game code and variables now if we say now if we include it again now who minus R now we have double now we have two of our two of all of them now if we say who minus R now we have three of all of them so um, it would take a while to, to run out of memory in this case you, you never have a memory problem I'm just telling you that the thing works wonderfully you never have a memory problem if you really want to if you if it really bothers you then run it as a pop-up uh, icon and uh, then it gets freed when it's done um, this the memory will fragment uh, so you do need don't worry you'll reboot for other reasons long before you ever run out of memory uh, so uh, you know what I was going to tell you this is really profound uh, this is the deep the kernel code um, when I'm working let's say I'm working on uh, let's just let's just try something let's say I'm working on Vroom and I have a uh, I have a problem okay uh, let's say when I allocate the track there's something wrong track find track slice init track okay let's say I'm trying to build the track and we are uh, as a matter of fact what is this doing track slice I can't use my code jump this is allocating and it's storing into a queue that's a global variable um, maybe somebody thinks there's a problem so uh, you know what we can do uh, this is ridiculous what size of track Let's see. size of track c8 it's 200 okay so let's go to uh, the kernel into oh this is not so easy <laughs> oh I started it so there's a uh, oh let's 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 use the uh, the hook I said there's a hook technically you can use it if you want heap blog malloc right here is the hook um, so what let's go look at the uh, Uh, when we 
install heap rep. Where do we install the hook? What? This is heap rep, it's not heap log. Okay, I was looking at the wrong tool. They're easy to confuse. Heap log, okay. So, I told you there's a hook. So let's just uh, heap log malloc. This is not what I wanted to, to demonstrate. Uh, okay, so let's say you're working on. Uh, I might as well show this. You're working on Vroom. We might we can put this right at the top. Okay, so if M size, uh, you can you can request. Okay, the size and the heap control are stored for each allocated item. It's really um, luxurious. Um, I don't. I waste memory. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, if it equals equals 200 uh, raw print 100 comma percent X. Okay. So what we can do Every time the operating system, this is at the operating system level, every time it allocates a 200, then we print with a time delay the address outside of windowing. Okay, so if I run this, um, it's dangerous, but it's okay. Oh shit, it didn't work. rounded up to a power of uh, or to a 200 is a multiple of 8 uh, I'm embarrassed or, let's see. where did I get the size it's a track the size of track 200 Uh, raw print. Oh, no. Okay, let's size of track. Oh, maybe I don't allocate single tracks. It's 200. Control F Malik. That's a freaking global variable. Well, some bitch. It's not malicating it, I guess. Track root. Yeah, it is. I know it's malicating. Yeah. 
Let's see. Insert cube to empty. There, there's size of track right there. It's Calic. Calic size of track. <clears throat> it's 200. Oh, you know what it is? That's embarrassing. Oh, shit. We're going to make this fucker work if it's the last thing I do. Address. Okay. The heap control. It's possible the size has not been filled in. Is that what it is? That's a major um, goof. That's a goof. Call it caller. Okay. So. In the kernel, in malloc. Heap log malloc. We have not filled in the size, apparently. I could swear it fills in the size. There's the size right there. Okay, and then there's the hook. Oh, what if it's, oh, the other answer. Um, you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. Size I64. Do you think it's, oh, shit. Okay, we have to, uh, plus, the other answer. Minus dart. Don't we want plus minus? I think we want that. Son of a bitch. I'm guessing. Oh, well, we want the size. Yeah, of course we want. What if we call this CMIM used and then we say ADDR dot size equals equals 200. You 
son of a bitch. It didn't do anything. It's not getting called at all. To, I think there's a flag. Uh, okay. Um. Oh well. Are, are we having fun? No. I think there's a flag. In addition. Now that's just crazy. I guess we want to be able to turn it on and off, on and off. Heap log. Heap log active. How about that? Oh, now it's doing it. Like, shit, it's doing it. Okay, it cracked. Okay. Uh, the reason for that is because it's the entire system. And we really, we really don't want to be doing that. So what we do is C task test equals current task and what we do here if fs equals equals test and then how about that you son of a bitch okay so I could swear it's we got a crash. can't be doing any allocations this this print does does an allocation uh, so it's, it's recursive uh, but the size is not the same It's not going to be a 200. Only if it's a 200 is it going to recurse, isn't it? But it's obviously not working. Let's say let's say 210, since that's not going to happen. Okay, so 210 did not happen. 200 did happen. Let's let's do two two oh one. Let's do 
200. Hey, it worked. Yay, okay. Yay. So this is tricky because the raw print calls Malik and it would be the same task. Okay, so we print for a millisecond. So what you can do is you can say if, 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 if ADDR equals 0x11111. Let's say you, let's say you were debugging. You can put, uh, Anyway, you can put special debug code. Now, here's the here's what I was going to tell you. Uh, there's a uh, there's a system flag, sysdebug, which is just a single bit, and you can say anyway, you can. Um, You can turn the, the bit on and off and then check it. And you can, um, if you make the, uh, you can recompile the kernel. Um, okay. You can recompile the kernel and modify the. Well, I, I. If I had a memory corruption problem, um, you can. There's there's an initialization flag when you compile the kernel. Um, make OS install. C. C, C, probe, four, enter, enter, disk cache. You can say uh, heap init, heap init, heap init, let's say 12. So what's going to happen is uh, every time an allocation is done off the heap, it's going to fill it in with 12. So this is how you can test for un, uh, uninitialized. So it should be a little bit slower. So if we just do a malloc uh, dump malloc 20 dump malloc 20 it's initialized to 12. You see that? It initialized everything on the heap to 12. So we, anyway, you can, there's, that's good for debugging. Um, it gets expensive if you do uh, flood fill because it does a big heap allocation. Uh, anyway, uh, What I was going to say is, if you want, if you know assembly, this is a bad, a bad one. Let's say you, you, you can modify the kernel to search for uh, an address. Um, let's say you're, uh, you're, you can. Um, can put debug code into the kernel and recompile it and uh, that's what I can do maybe you're searching for the the time that a uh, a uh, allocation got corrupted anyway maybe you have a, a, a memory corruption problem you can put checks in to see when it happened at various points in the kernel um, it doesn't really I guess the Linux has a lot of debugging doesn't it I think they have Every time you uh, do a syscall, you can do something. I don't really have that, but uh, anyway, oh well.
Uh, what fun. So now I, uh, I changed my help. It's a little bit redundant. Don't you think I need to uh, clean it up? I, uh, I do task and debugging. Heap walk is in heap. Heap rep. Debugging. Heap walk is in heap. Heap rep. Yeah, this, uh, you can store um, even more information. Um, anyway, oh well, enough. So, so the help index is stored in memory and somebody might think it is a leak, but that's not how I look at it. Um, 